Jamie, from Spurs' perspective, was this a, a plan that worked to perfection? Yeah, they've got two special players, David. They've got Kane and Son. And that was a difference, really. They just so dangerous on the counter-attack. For 10 minutes, they didn't really get out of their half. And all of a sudden, they scored they score a wonderful counter-attacking goal. And then, obviously, Harry Kane does it just before half-time. So that was really the difference. They were exceptional on the counter-attack. They're so comfortable in their own skin right now. It's not an enjoyable watch, as Graham says, but they know what they're doing. And when you've... It reminds me a little bit about when Jose Mourinho took over at Chelsea and he had a lot of young, talented, hungry players that wanted to win. He wanted to get to that next level. And Jose came in and he made them believe that what he was going to do with them and what he was going to do was right. And that's a little bit like what I'm seeing now. He's getting Harry Kane buying into it and Son, at times not touching the ball. Bergwijn, I mean, he came to Tottenham when he probably thought about the tradition of the way Tottenham play and free-flowing football. This isn't free-flowing football. He's probably thinking to himself, this is a hard, hard watch and a hard to play in this team right now. The so does it if they're winning and they're top of the table? It, it, no, it doesn't matter when you win him. It matters when you maybe don't win and then, then you start to get players that are a little bit unhappy. But right now, you're going to buy into it because... The, a lot of these players have never won anything before, so you want to win matches. But you can't say that it can be enjoyable for some of the players. Like the Celso, the way that he plays, he's a number 10, he's a, he's a really you know, lovely, exquisite footballer on the ball. He hardly touched the ball today, but he made a lot, you know, a lot of challenges and he worked hard for the team. And I said it last week and I'll say it again today. This is a Tottenham side that haven't won anything and the fans will buy into this if they win something because they're fed up hearing about you know, tippy-tappy Tottenham, a Tottenham side that can't compete, don't ever win, you know, that Spurs, if you like. This team at the moment has a des desire and a determination about them, epitomised by Hoiberg in midfield. But it's not, as Graham says, it's not that easy to watch. There's an argument to say it's the easiest way to coach a team is to set them up in this manner because the hardest thing sometimes is to play you know, through the lines and play clever football like what Pep's doing and what Frank Lampard's doing at Chelsea right now. It's really enjoyable to watch. But this is winning football for Tottenham. And at the moment, they're top of the league. So you can't really say too much about it apart from congratulations. And now, can you keep it going? You're not the little horse anymore. Jamie, can I just ask you a question? If you were playing in that midfield and the sort of player that you were that liked to get on the ball and make things happen and Jose comes in and you have to adapt your game and you play a certain way, yes, you're getting a three points, but how would you be feeling as a player? I wouldn't have been out of playing the, probably the two, Alex, where Hoiberg and Sissoko are playing because the, the role that he's asking wouldn't would really work to the way I played. But where La Celso plays, that would have been a dream, you know, to go and play alongside Harry Kane and get involved in that sort of capacity. But the players that he likes, and I think Sissoko deserves a lot of credit, that he's not necessarily the most talented footballer, but he's filling holes, he's running back into positions and alongside Hoiberg. And the reason why... I think Alderweireld's having a resurgence and the reason why Dyer is playing so well is because he's got an incredible balance in front of him. You know, Graham played that position better than anybody and he must look at that and think, you know, if you're a centre-back, they're making these dead... Those two players are making the job of the centre-backs very easy, Graham, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I go back to my time as a player. When I... At Liverpool, when, I, when we played big games, Joe Fagan would say to me, you know, and I knew what it meant, you know, you'll have a good look today, son, won't you? And what it meant by that is stay behind the ball. You know, we don't have to chase it. Um, to stay behind the ball, the ball, support everything. I don't believe, and I'm sure he says it, I, I'm not sure if Hoiberg or Sissoko ever went in front of the ball today. And Jamie's 100% correct when you say it's the easiest way to play. I mean, you're setting your team out, you got your back four don't go anywhere, your two central midfield players don't go anywhere, and that prevents your centre-back having to come out and confront the situation, so they're always in their shape. The full-backs don't wander too much. You've got you know, two absolute workaholics in front of the back four who will put their body on the line, blocking things, making last-ditch challenges. And, and you can only play like this, or you can play like this and win trophies if you've got the real talent up front. Okay. And that's what, that's, what, that's what Spurs have. I'll tell you what, I tell you what is a, a, a question to ask, Jamie. See if you agree with us. Why is Gareth Bill not on the team? Because he probably looks at him in training and thinks, you're not going to be the player that's going to run jobs. back like Bergwijn jobs. does. Yes, absolutely. When he brings on Ben Davis at left back and he's saying to Reggian, you're going to go and play left, left midfield now, and run up and down and chase. Look, there will come a time for Gareth Bale. And it might be the game when, you know, you need sort of to win. On, and I don't, I'm almost undermining what an incredible play, one of the best players I've ever seen live, Gareth Bale. The things he's done for Real Madrid and for Tottenham, there was a spell when he was unplayable. But right now, Jose thinks, He's not the player that I need in this team. This team has to work to a man. And Gareth might just upset that balance and not quite do those, you know, those hard yards, if you like. And that feels a bit un unfair on him because he's probably watching now thinking, 
how am I going to get into this team? And if I want to get in, the only way I can do it is by working hard and showing in training. And when I come on, I make an impact. Now, make no mistake, Gareth Bell will have a role. And he will score a couple of wonderful goals here before the end of the season. But he can't, I can't imagine he's too happy about it. Gary said he looks quite happy. I can't imagine a player of his stature can be enjoying not being involved or not even coming on. But you've got, we've all got egos as players. But just a reminder, they've just come through three games here, Spurs, against Manchester City away against Chelsea, who've been in really good form, and at home against your big rivals, you've taken seven points. Mm -hmm. You haven't conceded a goal. Mm -hmm. Surely that's all positives. Listen, Spurs supporters will take anything. In 29 years, tw I'll say it again, 29 years they've won two League Cups. This is a big football club, Spurs. You know, I went there as a kid when they were one of the biggest teams around. So doesn't Last time they won the league was 61. Doesn't everybody then have to get behind this methodology if this is as, going to deliver As a an ex-professional footballer, I understand what he's doing. What I'm saying is, I've, given what fear the Premier League produced, has produced for, since its inception, I've enjoyed a lot of the football. You look at the, the football Liverpool have played for the last three years. You look at Man City before that. You, I can't, and I'm saying this in neutral, and Spurs being my first love... I can't enjoy it because I, I, know the, I know there's other teams out there playing a different brand of football. But I can admire their pragmatism. I can admire their, their professionalism. I can admire their, their dogged and determined and everyone knows what they're doing. But, but in terms of me sitting back and, and you know, watching it as a, a spectacle, no, I find it hard. I'm being honest. I'm, you bring me here to give my opinion. That's my opinion. <laughs> I did a little bit late today. How isn't it bad?